So about uh, two years ago, right after I started with Hornbeat, I wrote up a paper. It was about five pages, and it was topics that I've been thinking about over the last 15 years or so. And in that paper, I discuss a number of topics, one of which is basically whether the toy business has, and the hobby business, has kind of done this to themselves, how they brought themselves to the point of where they're not as popular as they had been, not as popular as they should be, and kind of video games have taken over, basically, is kind of the opinion, which I don't believe for a second, by the way, but uh, those were that was kind of the thesis of what I had written up. In this video, I'm going to discuss kind of why I think the hobby business has done this to themselves. So over the years, I've been thinking about uh, the toy business and... What if the toy business has done this to themselves? Folks, frankly, like myself, who have worked in the hobby business, what was kind of mainstream toys at one point became kind of marginalized. And I think that we've allowed that. We've made toys that are sort of more superficial, that are kind of throwaway toys. They're not permanent. If you think back to the toys of the 50s and 60s, you think of slot cars, you think of trains, you think of erector sets, you think of fairly challenging toys that demanded uh, a lot of attention, demanded a lot of care, demanded a lot of the user. And now we don't really expect those kinds of things of ourselves, maybe as toy developers. And we don't expect that of consumers. And I frankly think that's bad. Uh, basically, we kind of dumb down the toys that we put in the market. We upsell, if you will, by doing what we like to call value add. Well, what does that mean? That means putting back the good stuff, the stuff that should be there. Frankly, I think it's, I've always been a little disgusted with the idea of making, especially slot car sets, because that's what I've been most kind of intimately involved with. Slot car sets shouldn't be a basic thing. Yes, they need to be a starting point, and you can add in the things that you find valuable. And I think that's important. But along with the basic set, which I think frankly is too basic, Sets should come with borders, they should come with fencing. They, yes, they can be a little smaller as far as the, the size of the layout, but they need to come with basics that we all freaking know need to be in the sets. And we've taken them out for the sake of the sets being more price competitive. Well, I think that's bullshit. I kind of always ha always have, and I think if we need to make a set that's cheap, well, that's fine, but it should have the basics in a set. Further, I think on the, the after you get people into the hobby, you need to add in the things, as far as marketing, that make it a complete world that make it that appealing world that video games have allowed to be and slot cars and trains although trains have largely still existed in that space of making a world for the user a place to play uh, I think that's really important and that's why I don't have a problem with calling slot cars toys because as far as I'm concerned you know you're just playing here you're not putting away childish things when you're an adult. Those childish things are just so freaking important. Especially now with 
the pandemic and what we've seen with the hobby business. Everyone who's involved in the hobby business knows that it is pretty much thriving in certain ways, maybe not more, as much as it should be or as much as it could, because Lord knows there's no one doing marketing, really, in the hobby business. So, you know, we've, we've really allowed the set, the basic set sale, the basic marketing of a set, to kind of end once that set is sold. And that, I think that's criminal. I think it's wrong. I've always been a big proponent of adding in photos and suggestions of what you could do with a set as a toy to make it, yes, your own little world of make-believe. Yeah, I've gone there. Well, too bad. That's what it is. If you have a problem with it because you think it's a silly way of looking at it, frankly, it's not. It's the only way of looking at it. If that's not how you want to play with the toy, if you're just in it for the speed or racing, that's perfectly fine. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that to get kids excited about it, about slot racing, you can add in these kinds of things that make it a much more rich experience. Don't blame the kids because the video games are a more rich experience. That's freaking lazy. I think it's gross that we blame kids because video games are frankly cooler. What happens when you show a slot car set to a kid? I've done so many events. I've done so many events and I get so disgusted when people who don't do events, who've never been in the field, tell me that it's just it's something you can't do to add in this kind of marketing. It's something you can't do to include this idea of a richer experience. For God's sake, there's plenty of tre little trees on the market. There's little buildings on the market. There's little people on the market. You, it's not that hard to make a little scenic diorama. I've done it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. They should be encouraged to do it, at least in marketing, at least in the catalogs. Because especially some companies, and I'm looking at certain people here, who make the stuff themselves, don't even put the suggestions in the catalog like we used to in the toy business. Years and years and years ago, in the 60s and even into the 70s, you would see slot cars marketed with trees as an as a idea of how you could build this little world. In the food business, they call it a serving suggestion. That's kind of how I look at it. I mean, I'm, I'm an eater. <laughs> I enjoy food. And the presentation of the food is half of the, the beauty of eating. Half of the beauty, half of the taste experience. It's senses. It's not just the ingredients laid out on a table. God damn it, that's all we've done with the sets. We've laid out these pieces of track on a table and you see it in the catalog time after time after time and <clears throat> why am I so upset about this it's because we wring our hands about why the hobby business isn't bigger well we've done our damnedest to dumb it down forever and you wonder why sales are down over the decades you wonder why we've gotten to this point? Really, do you? We've gotten to this point because everybody in the business, somewhere along the way, forgot what it's like to be a kid. Forgot what it's like to have a little cool world to play with. You get a little whisper of that with, you know, with trains, and y y you see this in kids when you do events, and that's what I was getting to with the events. You see kids that have probably never seen slot cars before. That's also a crime. You have these kids that have never seen slot cars before when I've done these events all over the place, not just in the U.S. Anywhere where you do an event, what do you see? 
you see kids being thrilled by the idea of slot cars. You just do. What does that tell you? That tells you that there's a spark there. The spark is there. We got to we got to light that. You see? That's the problem. We're n we're not doing our job in the business. We're not telling the story. Tell the damn story. Jesus Christ. Stop whining about why sales are down. Do it on the other end of things. Start with telling the story in the catalog. Make it a rich experience again. Sure, you can make basic sets, and that's cool, but at least tell the story of what it could be. Tell that story of that little world of make-believe. Yeah, 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 it's a little corny, but, you know, whatever. It's, it's time to be corny. It really is. There's a lot of horrible crap going on in the world. Everyone needs a release. Everyone needs a place to play and relax and have fun. Don't we? Of course we do. So how do we get out of this? We get out of it by putting that back in. Put the fun back in. I said that during a board meeting right after I got hired at Hornby, and there were looks of, of, of recognition around the room. Well, let's recognize that, shall we then? Let's put the fun back in. Let's make excellent little accessories that have been taken out again, shall we? Let's not just make basic sets anymore exclusively. Or if we do, upsell. Put diagrams in the catalogs. Put suggestions in the catalogs for scenery. It's not that hard. It just isn't that hard. Yeah. A little bit of a rant today, but, you know, that's where I am. Thanks. I appreciate it. Have a good day.